Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us once again here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium as we bring the aquarium to you. My name is Brent, and today I'm going to be showing you a neat trick that you can do to impress your friends. The challenge is, can you pick up an ice cube using a piece of string? When you start trying it, a lot of times you'll be trying to loop the ice cube and catch it and grab it, but you'll notice they slide out of the way. There's an easier way to do it, though. You're going to need your string, and you'll also need a little bit of salt. So take your string, lay it on top of a couple of ice cubes there, like so, and then you're going to get a generous amount of salt and just sprinkle it onto the ice cubes. I'm going to get it in my hand here, and then we're just going to pinch it over the string. Now, you might be wondering why we're doing this, what it does. Well, as you, anybody who's done salt on the roads or on their icy sidewalk knows, salt helps to melt ice. But when it does that, something interesting happens. Normally, if you think of ice melting, it, you say, oh, I need to put heat into it. If I have an ice cube and I put it in my hand, which is hot, it will melt the ice cube. If I put an ice cube onto a metal tray, which is hot, it will melt the ice cube. In order for ice to melt, it needs heat. It needs enough heat to start breaking it up from a solid into a liquid again. When you're melting ice on your road or sidewalk or you know, wherever it is, it still needs heat. When you put the salt on and the ice is melting, it's going to start pulling in heat from the environment around it. If you've ever made ice cream before, you know that's one of the things that you do is you will add salt and, to the ice in order to get it cold enough. What we're doing here is we're putting ice on, or some salt onto our ice here, which is going to start it melting, but we also have water and it will be stealing heat from the water around it and that water will be getting cold enough to freeze, which means the ice sticks to it and we'll, you'll be able to pick it up using just a string. So as you give it a try at home, see what sheets and patterns you can get. See how long it takes for the ice to freeze to your string. Thank you very much for joining us. We hope that you learned something new and had a lot of fun. Let us know how your experiment goes. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium.